Hey, this is Brian Wright at Killer Combat Sports Academy, Oakhurst, New Jersey. I'm going to be going over some techniques today. I've got my son Reed, and I've got my son Little Brian, or I should say, getting a lot bigger Brian. Say what's up. Oh my gosh, he's trying to be a ninja or a Jedi or something today. But we're going to go over checking kicks. So, when we check our kick, someone's trying to kick us in the leg. We don't want to block down with our arm because if they go up higher, they can hit us and they can break our arm. So when we check kicks, we keep our hands up, strong stance, 45 on the hips, back heels up. When we check that kick, we want to lift our leg. Now when we lift, we want to turn our foot to the outside. We don't want to come up straight because if we get hit, it's going to knock our leg out of the way. So when we pick up that leg, Really. Stay on the ball, the support foot. Pick your foot up to the outside. Up to the outside. Now, your arm. The arm on the side that the leg's coming up, we want to keep it to the outside. If we have it over top, when you get hit, you can elbow yourself in the leg. If you have it to the inside, if they end up going high, you have nothing stopping and you're going to get hit. If we keep the elbow to the outside, we've got strong connection. Leg and hand, it's hard to go through. They can't get you low, middle, or high, you're completely protected. So, from here, I'm going to keep on my toe, picking up to block. Now, if someone's going for the inside thigh or the back thigh, we're going to bring the front shin across. So, from here, I bring the shin across. Now, another way we can do this if we have time, if they're going for the back leg, is I can step. Pick the shin up. I prefer to use the front shield because when we come here, when we pick this up, a lot of times the power is going right through my hips, and so my shin's going to take a really bad impact. That's why I like to use outside, inside shielding for low kick techniques. So, one thing I just have to reiterate to the foot you want to make sure you pull your toes up have your foot pointed to the outside on the front check. You want to have your toes up, pointed on 45 on the inside. The reason for that is if my foot's pointing down and they kick low, you can get hit in the foot and it'll pull your foot under. That's going to torque your knee, possibly screw up your ankle or your foot. So we hit here. One, cross, two. That's how we protect. Outside, inside, back leg against the low kick. 